I was really nervous about that, like, just... What the hell? Good morning, guys. We are out to my VNG appointment. I keep forgetting what it stands for, but it's my ear appointment. Uh, they're gonna check my ears and my vision to see how my eyes react to certain sounds, I think, and the water and stuff. I might be able to explain it a little bit better after I have it, um, but basically that's where we're going right now. I'm gonna be there for about uh, three hours, they said, and um, we have everybody here. So they're all coming Hello. for support, but they're just gonna drop me off. They're gonna come back home, um, but for this appointment, I did have the fast, so I woke up, had breakfast, had some coffee, and I just slammed some water, and then that's pretty much been all I've had since 7.30 this morning. So I have my appointment uh, for that, and then I'm gonna have the talk with the doctor about like the MRI and everything, so see what's going on with me. Round and round, I'm a circle round and round, 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 round. <laughs> boys hey be good for daddy okay I'll see you guys in a little bit yes. <laughs> Gavin be good for daddy okay buddy be good why did they get weirded out if I tickle them like... <laughs> all right honey all right be safe. okay all right let's go make me dizzy checked my ears well they looked at them they did a pressure thing and now I'm waiting for the dog There's my brain, guys. Oh my gosh. Hey right, guys, I'm done, and it was interesting. The whole testing and the water making me dizzy was really weird, um, but I'm waiting outside for Robbie. Um, he's on his way to come get me, but there's a lot of cars, so I don't want to go into explaining everything, and then you guys not hear me. So um, when we get home, I will fill you guys in on what happened and what we found. All right, guys, so we're home now, and um, I'm done with all my testing, um, and there's three parts to it, and I looked it up. VNG stands for a video, video nystomography, video nystomography, VNG, and an ENG test. Oh, okay, so video, video, I can't even say it. Video and stomography something like that. Test the vestibular system, balance system of the inner ear to determine if your dizziness or loss of balance is caused by an inner ear abnormality. Uh, which, um, guys, there isn't. There is not an inner ear abnormality. Um, so they checked my ears uh, with the VNG and that also checks like my vision, like my eyes, how they react to light and sound and movement. They made me dizzy by shooting in cold water in both ears and then they shot hot water in both ears and I did feel dizzy. It was kind of scary, <laughs> but um, it went away really quick. Like within like maybe a minute of each you know each time that they did it like I had to say certain things like you know tell me names of boys names that start with R or girls names that start with S like just a bunch of things and I'm not sure what me saying those things had to do but maybe it was like how my eyes are while I'm thinking or processing stuff yeah it's, it was really weird um, I'm actually pretty amazed that they can do all that stuff by just having me sit there and not actually like look inside my head so when I saw the doctor after that was done he compared my MRI with that and my MRI, by the way, guys, there was nothing, no abnormality, no tumors, no masses, no, okay, I got my report. Okay, the ventricles, cortical, basal, cisterns are normal. There are no masses or fluid collections. There is no evidence of edema, demyelination, eczema or hemorrhage brainstem is oh there i am brainstem is normal um and all these other things there's other words i can't even pronounce that some tubes crustacean tube that sounds like an ocean thing um are normal there is no pineal lesions no orbital or pituitary <laughs> uh normal position of cerebral tonsils mild mucosal thickening in the ethmoid sinus and normal flow void in the major vessel so um yeah there was nothing there thankfully i was really nervous about that like just what the hell? that was our uh, calendar that just fell okay all is good um so anyways um there was no findings so 
A, I'm glad that there was nothing abnormal found. B, I did not get answers though, so we're not exactly sure why. Um, but he says it could be just, you know, something that I did catch, um, like a virus thing when I first started getting these sinus things, and maybe it's just taking its time to like, basically he just said to give it some time. Maybe it's just one of those things that's going to just eventually fade away on its own without having to treat it. Um, could it be something with my spine and my neck because I do have like my neck issues? And um, is it like, do I have like something pinching? Like, do we need to go and get a scan of my spine? Um, the other thing was, is it a vision thing? Is it, you know, because I was like, well, sometimes when I'm driving, like I feel like it's either too bright or that I feel like I just like this feels good to like apply pressure like near my uh, my eyes is it like a muscle weakness in my eye area do I need to go see a uh, op not an optometrist but the other one like the actual like doctor doctor for eyes uh, op optologist anthropologist something like that and then again too you know my blood pressure had gone up again is it something like that basically the things that we were worried about though like they're really serious things it's not that so now it's just a matter of like if it continues you know long term like do i want to do, do more testing look more into it um if it really starts to affect my life like my way of living um which like i've said before it doesn't really affect like my driving it's just more of like when i feel it i focus on it too much so is it just me am i overreacting is it at all in my head am i a, what is it a hyper hypochondriac. hypochondriac am i like going through these motions like all these feelings and thoughts and like am i doing it to myself because i'm starting to get all these anxieties about my health because i'm i want to be here for my kids it's like like i feel like a lot of it since having my kids is like i want to make sure that i'm as healthy as i can be to live for my kids and be here and provide for them and and you know take care of them and keep them safe and like be able to do all those things like i freak myself out i think so i'll keep posting if something else comes up about it but i think for the meantime we're just gonna uh just see how you know the next couple months work out i mean I'm, I'm back on my medicine for blood pressure i'm eating better i'm trying to be you know more active and exercise more so hopefully with some changes that i'm doing physically it helps me stay healthier and hopefully it helps to fade away all these other symptoms that i've had um so I can stop worrying about these things and start living my life to the fullest and happy and be excited for the future um so so that's where we're at oh you're doing so good yeah oh the first he spilled a little bit at first because he wasn't sure how much came out huh but you got it you drink more show me <laughs> he's like i'm just gonna walk with it now <laughs> all right guys so my 90s hair version of 90s version of me oh, this is the, the uh, 90s hat yeah, my hair has been just bugging me. I really need a haircut, so, um, which I'm getting tomorrow. But I'm gonna, I guess, just end the vlog for today. It really was just, you know, I spent quite a few hours at the doctor's and then we've just been chilling and we just finished watching uh, an episode of Westworld. Huh? What? I was like, hello, what are you doing? Uh huh. Huh? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing today? What did you do today? Um, but that's what we did, and um, I guess we're just gonna wrap it up. So we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thumbs up for good results, and nothing seriously abnormal going on in my brain or in my ears. Um, but um, hopefully it just goes away and I start to feel better. So um, we are gonna wake up early tomorrow, right, honey? We're gonna do a run. Yes. Yes. We're gonna do a family run and just get back on this new goal of you know hopefully losing 10 15 i was even thinking 20 pounds so i did take a picture yesterday i had robbie take a picture of me um in just like my shorts and like a sports bra just to show like where i was at when i started this uh bikini series and then eight weeks from now we'll see kind of compare the two and i hope i hope there is stuff to compare and there's a difference hey and those ladies were lying to you we're gonna sue them <laughs> for every cent even yeah. though we pay no money but. right 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 but babies are getting cranky and i think hubby is getting hungry because i am too thanks for watching the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe we'll see you guys at the next one ciao